Welcome to this edition of Video Drone by DIY3DTech.com. In this episode, we're going to be taking a look again at this run cam. Now, one of the things, I did an unboxing and a little bit of a discussion on this a while ago. And, uh, I, you know, I love these little cameras. They're inexpensive, they're light, they're handy, and they're pretty good quality. However, one of the big problems is, how do you take this guy and mount it to a standard GoPro? So... I solved this problem, so I went out to Thingiverse, and I'll have it over there. Uh, I printed out, got STL files for two different models of, of bracket, and I printed them out, and, and, and I kind of wanted to share this with you guys because I thought this was really kind of neat. So the standard bracket, it comes with a quarter 20 like this that actually goes uh, in here and pops in and locks in. And now I can attach it to a quarter 20 uh, tripod mount, which is kind of cool. But hey, the world's gone GoPro with these, um, you know, crazy style finger mounts, which is actually pretty good for a couple different reasons, especially for holding power. So I've got this GoPro style mount, and I want to take this camera and mount it to it. Now, I could use one of these guys, which is, a, you know, a GoPro to, um, you know, quarter 20 adapter and screw in the bottom. But this is a little kludgy, and this adds quite a bit of extra weight. So what I've done is, again, uh, I'll have the, um, the Thingiverse uh, screenshots over here, and i also have the links to these STLs or these 3D part files. Now, I have two of them here. Uh, one just kind of sits, drops in here, and it's not, it, it fits, it kind of locks in, and it's not bad, but it doesn't lock in the sides, so it does kind of kind of work. The other thing is it's kind of short. Now, the one is, I really like this one because this designer took a lot of time to design this one to actually slide in. You notice it locks in. It's got the teeth that lock in, pop in, just like this guy does. So if I take this guy, hold him right up here, you can see that these match. So this is very, very cool. Uh, so, you know, the other pieces, then we what we do is we, you know, uh, put the camera in here and boom. This now has a native GoPro style mount, and I can put this in here, and I can tighten this up, and I now have a GoPro mounted camera, and very sturdy. I did this in PLA with about 40% infill. You could toughen it up a little bit with some epoxy coating, but uh, all in all, it's pretty good. Now, the other thing that I like is the GoPro also has these for like a lanyard, these little holes here. And you can take some fishing line, loop this back through, and then bring it back into the uh, top of here as a safety harness if you wanted, if you didn't trust the uh, plastic here. But also, one of the things I like about the GoPro style design is you have multiple points of connection here. So if one were to crack, you, you would have the other one. So I definitely uh, suggest inspecting this Perf Lite. But this is just really a great setup, so my hat's off to the developer of this one especially. This one's okay, but this one really uh, gets the award for being pretty cool. So, anyways, just kind of wanted to share this with you guys, because if you're anything like me, you know, you, you have all this GoPro stuff, or GoPro style stuff, I'll say. It's all knockoff, actually, uh, because I just can't bring myself to pay the crazy money for the GoPro original. And being able to print this out is, like, just really cool stuff. So, anyways... Um, if you like this, hey, let me know below if you've done some other stuff like this or what you think. Let me know in the comments. Uh, and hey, subscribe button's going to be coming up over there. So be sure to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, comment below, and we'll see you in the next video. Cheers.